All right, guys. So let's do this. I don't know if you guys can handle this or not. So getting these things is like getting an RTX 3880Ti last year. Um, got to pay like a million dollars to even get one. <laughs> so the aluminum racks for the Aerial Rider. Always out of stock. Can't find them anywhere. They're like 80 bucks. So I found this in all the right places. Amazon. <laughs> so we're going to test it out and see if it's worth a crap. Our complete garbage. And I'm going to leave you the link. Hopefully it's not complete garbage. And we can install it and freaking enjoy it. Let's get in here. We're going to do this. If I can't install it today, don't worry. Today, you will see it installed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. So this is not aluminum. Like uh, the actual Aerial Rider one. But it was in stock. As you guys know... Every time I look on there, they'll get some in stock and then they're just, they're gone like within the hour. So it's like you got to wait for them to be in stock and then you got to click the buy button. At least every time I've looked and like the other half of the time when I look, um, they're not even in stock. <clears throat> Here, we don't want to scratch it. Let's put it on this. We also got this. This is one thing I thought was really cool. I'm going to scratch up the metal. Um, let's check this out. This one actually comes for the same price as the one you get. Hey, dude, look, it comes with hardware. What? We might actually get this installed today. I didn't see hardware on the thing. Um, but check this out. It's a liner for it. Man, look at that. It's like so sweet. That's going to look amazing. Oh my God, look at that. That's sick. Oh, this is going to be great. This is, a, like I said, it's metal. It's not aluminum. So, shoot, man. I don't know. I'd say six, seven pounds. But, you know, it's going on my Kepler. It'll, uh, it'll go pretty good. I gotta uh, kill my cat. Be right back. Psst, yeah, quit it. So here we go. Race mace. Rear bike basket. It's got screws, mounting brackets. It's got the thickened lining. It's got the bungee net. So it wants you to install it that way, but I want to install it the other way. So I'm going to see if we can. So let's go over there. First thing first is we need some cutters. Cutters, 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 and more cutters. What the hell do I have in my cutter? You know what? This, I cannot find my cutter, so you know what we're going to go with? Some L snipamotes. So this is really cool. So we have uh, graduated from a uh, basket. I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. Holy shit. Like, I've been using this basket for over a year. It's done me good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, this is a nice bike. And it needs, uh, it needs a nice rack. You know? I'm not, you know, posh or nothing. I'm just, you know, it's a nice bike. I like it. So we're going to give it the treat. Well, I'm treating myself too, you know, because uh, it's a super nice basket so far. You guys see that lining? Oh, my gosh. Boom. We got to get a shot of the naked aerial rider. <laughs> naked. Oh my god, I better put that basket on. You guys are freaking me out, you perverts. <clears throat> Should we dust her down too? Give her the old dust? 
While we're at it, let me grab a rag. We'll, get, we'll wipe her down a little bit. <clears throat> oh, yeah. She dirty. She a dirty girl. That was good. <clears throat> Boom. Do any of these holes line up? At all. <laughs> I guess it's going like that. Man, none of these holes line up, dude. Seriously. <laughs> what are we going to do? Uh, are these even long enough? These aren't even wide enough. Is that going to stay? It's going to slide right off. Um, I wonder. I'm going to try to stand my bike up a little bit here. This under there, that that there, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> oh, talking to myself. This is weird. Let's see what kind of nuts and bolts we got. First thing. How in the freaking hell gets? To, you know what? No, that's not gonna work. Definitely not gonna work. No, it won't work in there either. Hmm. Aha. Right there. Okay. We got it. I'll show you guys what a plan is. <clears throat> I'm gonna stand in the light here. Okay, so there's a bar here and a bar here. So there's two bars. And then it's gonna be on the inside. And this is gonna be underneath. Um, are those holes gonna work? These holes aren't gonna work, never mind. Dang, what the hell? How the hell am I supposed to do this? Yeah, these holes aren't going to work. I got the fix. I got the fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill this out right here. I'm going to go mark it. And then I'll drill that out. And then I will use these two holes. It's going to be loose that way, though, huh? Hmm. Got to think about this. Jeez. Even if I crank it down, how many bolts they give us? Four? Probably. Yep, exactly four. Jeez, dicks. And four washers, too. They couldn't give us like eight washers. And then Phillips. I really don't want it this way. This is how they want you to install it. I mean, I guess I could do it that way. That's not too bad. Right, and then these go this way. That's like the same thing. Then I still got a trunk. I really wanted it that way though. I think it looks sicker. Gosh, let me know. This way? Or this way. Hmm. 
not staying no more. No. I think it looks better like that. It's my opinion. Hmm. Yep, I'm going with that. All right, let me get something to mark this out with. All right, pencil it is. They give me some zip ties too, I think. If not, I got more. So we'll zip tie it for a little extra protection. I'm double check, see what's in that other bag. <clears throat> no, they did not. Okay. So we'll just have to mod it up, I guess. Hmm. Do I really want it this way, though? God, man, it's such a hard choice. I know, it's just a stupid rack, but come on. My stupid rack. <laughs> I can almost use those two holes right there. And the three. I could put three bolts through right there. I wouldn't even need the things. Nah, I still like it like this. I really do. Put it in a little bit like that. Yeah. I don't know. I like that more. We're going with that. Where do I want to drill? That is the question. Right there. This one too. There. Boya. <clears throat> Find something to drill on. You guys want to watch me drill holes? You know you guys want to watch me drill holes. It's like you guys' favorite thing to do, right? You guys just wait on YouTube constantly. You're like, man. I want to see some hole driven. Let me find a right bit. I got a couple bits for size. And a piece of wood. Got another spare piece of wood around here somewhere. Um, Not back here. Really? I don't have any spare wood anywhere? What the fuck? Pardon the French. Yeah, we do. We got big ass. Honking, he's a there. Size bolts we got here. Looks like 13 60 ports. It's a little tight. We'll go a little bit big since their holes are freaking ginormous. Yeah. Sheesh. Might have to find some more washers too. Hopefully these are even long enough. You barely. Okay, so we'll go with this. <clears throat> Here we go. One. That was easy. Oops. Find some washers. I gotta have some spare washers somewhere. If not, I got a bunch of work. So I can temp this in for now just with the bolts. Pretty sure it'll hold with four of them and four washers. But yeah, I would really prefer eight washers. Um, 
maybe even a locking washer. But we can upgrade the hardware later also. So get the holes drilled, get it mounted, put a couple zip ties on it for extra protection, and then uh, get her, uh, ah, washers. Oh, yeah. Hopefully these aren't too big. Double check. Some big ass bolts. Whew. These will work. These will work. They are a little big. Oh, dude, I got some locking. No, those are way too big, though. That three. Dude. Got a bunch of bolts. Hang on. Dumping bolts off. You guys hear that? Is it beautiful? I should have just worn my chest mount, huh? Next time. <clears throat> All right, is this gonna be big enough? <laughs> I don't think so. Bring it out a little bit. I do have an ultra super duper mega ultra bit that rules them all, you know what I mean? You guys have one of those? Oh, of course you can't find it because, you know, you can never find anything when flipping need it. Oh. oh my god. Okay. I don't even know if those other bolts will fit in the other holes. So I'm going to test that. Will they? Yeah, they will. Okay, cool. Those two fit. Just bring this out somewhere. I can't find my other stupid bit. Okay, um, are we going from the bottom or the top? Uh, I think it matters. Okay. Let's use these two first. Pro tip. And a washer, and a nut, and a washer. Oh, these aren't going to work, are they? Are they? Nope. All right, so with these cheapies on the back, tiny little nuts. So kind of a chore here. Just a little bit of chore. Oh, we got her. We got her on there. Okay. One more. This one, this one. We got extra washers now. I'm going to double washer the top. This one. And then put a washer on the bottom of the nut. We're going just like that. Just like that. Okay, you guys can see. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, definitely need some shorter hardware. But the other ones are almost too short. Two of these, one of these. Boom. Like it was meant to be. Oh my god, I just dropped everything. So bad. You guys like this view? Is it shiny enough for you? Huh? Boom. All right, wrenches, Allen keys, and then um, copious amounts of drugs and alcohol. And I think we're set. Let me know if I'm missing anything. So I got ratcheting wrench. Do I have a size for this? Oh, I love that. All right, what does that look like? A 13? 16? Find out. Oh, I'm good. Okay. So that's a no-go. Just a tad. So no washers. Like I said, we'll just have to upgrade the hardware later. Sweet. All right, through the mag magic of editing, bros, check it out. So I squished them down real good with uh, help of the home wrecker. Um, yeah, there goes my bit. <clears throat> so it's not moving at all it is on there it feels really good i feel like it is going to work its way loose so i think eventually i mean a couple zip ties you know in the corners here i think we're good just to make sure in case something does slip it doesn't like fly around i'll just hear a little rattle and i'll know i'll need to adjust something but um <clears throat> if i could get my hands on a couple more of these plates because if i could just do two plates and that way i could drill a hole down the middle here and then fasten the two plates together so it would bring this instead of the bow it's got uh can i get it actually i can't see it there you go i know it's hard to see there we go you see the two that bow it's got on it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. <clears throat> All right, it's time for the fun part. The moment of truth. Oh, this is going to look so nice. Is this worth it? I'll just go like this. Oh shit. I'm gonna put some safety ties. Safety ties. Put them in your pocket. Safety ties. What do you think we need? Just two? I'm just gonna go with two. I think two should be sufficient. You know, because they're just safety ties, just in case something starts rattling. And then we know we're good to do some customization. Boom. Nice and tight. One on each corner. These are pretty hefty duty too, and they're supposed to be UV resistant. Boom. 
Boom. All right. Now for sure she's not going anywhere. Those bolts work loose. It'll rattle a little bit. And then I will know to um, finally address it. So there we go. Double safe. Double safe. Oh, I love this so much. Guys, it's like the Bentley of e-bikes. <laughs> For real. The Bentley of the e-bikes. It even came with a little net, too. Check that out. This net is huge, too. Holy crap. Um, geez. I don't know where to hook it. It's so big. Uh, I want to hook it here, but... I'll just hook it around there. That one there. This one here. I'll just hook it like that. Yeah, that'll work for now. And we could just do this. Oh. Yo, bro. Yo. Clean up my mess. And then we will uh, decide what we think about it. Okay, guys? Let me know. You guys are staring at it, right? Ah, you guys are staring at it. Let's uh, see how she looks. You guys made a huge ass mess, I'll tell you that. Dude. That's legit. Garbage, garbage detail. Don't worry, I'll be with you in a second. You guys love garbage detail. All right, we got to test out the Bentley. Let's see how she rides. Is she going to survive the test? The backyard extravaganza test. Oh, yeah. Bro, I'm good at parking. All right, guys. You know, I would have to say, um, do I recommend it? Kind of a pain to do, but like if you can borrow a drill or if you've got one, then hell yeah. This thing is super, super duper sweet. I wish um, the little back end canopy thing was um, had a couple more Velcro straps on it instead of just the four to hold it in there. But I can live with that. You can see like the corner of it here kind of folding in. So that one too so like if it had corner straps i think it would be perfect but nothing's perfect right i like it it looks compact um so my old basket was uh 13 inches wide by 13 inches wide by i forget how deep <clears throat> this one is i think five and a half inches deep or close to by uh 18 inches by 13 inches i think <clears throat> so Wider space, which I wanted wider space anyways, because sometimes, you know, I'll pack something longer and then I have to like tip it up in that uh, box. And then also I noticed sometimes if I hit a jump, um, my back will rub my, uh, uh, my, my milk crate <laughs> just a little bit or my butt will. So I think this will definitely alleviate that also. Because, yeah, like it's almost level with my butt now. It's like an inch above. So I think that'll be good. And it just looks so good. Like I told you, man, now this is like the Bentley.
of the e-bikes. <laughs> uh, Alright, peace out, bye. <clears throat> Do I recommend this guy? Do I? No. I don't think you should buy it at all. It's complete, utter awesomeness. I love it. I think it looks good. It looks so good. Like I said, man, this is the BMW basket of the e-bikes. If you're not riding this basket, not sponsored, by the way. Bought this with my own money. Uh, 80 bucks. Right? Um, you get a discount. I think you have an Amazon card. You save like 5% or something like that. So, you know, you can get it for under 70 bucks somewhere around there or or under 80 bucks i mean yeah <clears throat> but it comes with a cool ass liner and it comes with a net so it's not just the aluminum rack it's not custom fit like you saw back there you know it took me 40 minutes to install or something like that and i do want to upgrade the install a little more but we'll see when it wiggles loose you know i'll keep you updated so we'll see how long it takes for it to start rattling around. We've got the zip ties on there for backup, so it won't be sliding around too much. So yeah, I mean, I really like it. It weighs like eight pounds. It's not solid aluminum, but I can totally live with that. It looks way better than the milk crate. There's nothing wrong with the milk crate. Super handy. I like it. It was plastic though, so it was a little chintzy because like you, like you already seen, mine was cracked. So definitely an upgrade. If you can't get your hands on the one from Ariel Rider and you want one that looks slick with the cool little liner and everything, shh, I must say, put the time in, get this sucker. It, it's, I love it. I can't wait to just, you know, mob around with it. <laughs> All right, look, guys, later. Thank you for watching. Hope I wasn't too boring because, you know, I'm really nervous on camera all the time, uh, especially outside. I don't know why. I just get all tense, locked up. Like, anyways, who cares? Okay, bye.